Welcome everybody to Organization Night for Mental Health. We are into our second year of Battery Powered now, and we had a goal, I think we, we uh, probably mentioned this to many of you and, and pitched you before, to, to reach uh, 700 members of Battery Powered and $7 million, and would love to have your ongoing help and support, and let's get to that big 10 number, because it's so much more conveniently rounded it's such a good reason to get there. Um, and we funded uh, a total of 25 organizations to date. And there will obviously be more on allocation night for mental health. So this is an area that I'm excited about. I, I like the, um, the, the less easy to talk about subject matters, the ones that often find it harder to raise funding because they're not sexy in a conventional way. Um, and I think this is, this is probably out of all the ones we've done, maybe an area that, that touches us all in some way. And I, I remember I didn't actually make it to the um, expert night, but I did watch a video after and they asked for everyone to stand up if they had a friend or family member that was affected by mental health issues. And I think everyone stood up. Maybe there were one or two who felt pressure to stand up because everyone else had, but... <laughs> Uh, nonetheless, I think everyone stood up, and um, and I'm I'm certainly in that camp, and can count count many friends and family members who are one way or another impacted by that. Um, so it's exciting that we're all gathered here and and have this this commonality to to try and address this issue. And excited tonight about the uh, organisations. I've been speaking with some of them prior to this who are going to be talking. So I'm going to hand over to Abby because she knows much more than I do. And uh, I am going to sit down and enjoy and watch. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome, everyone. As Michael mentioned, we are in our winter 2016 theme of mental health. And we're asking the question, how do we support the mental health of our families and our communities? And as we ask that question, I want to take us back to the impetus for why we created Battery Powered and the founding values, because you're going to see that there's a really tight connection. When we amplify our strategies and Michael and Sochi got together and thought about what could we create in a social club that would inspire people and activate generosity, we put together a set of guiding values. And those values are better together, generosity and commitment, and limitless possibility. And as we reflect on Expert Night and what Glenn Close and Ellen Sack shared about stigma and the power of st stigma to divide us, and as we look at the 19 amazing organizations who are working so hard to create better outcomes for families and communities around mental health, I just feel like these values that we've instilled and what we're trying to create as a community is really harmonized. So this theme is, I think, particularly touching to all of us. Um, Right now, within the theme, we are heading into the point where on March 31st, we'll be deciding who are our next Battery Powered awardees. Now, all of the Battery Powered members nominated a lot of amazing organizations, and our team worked very hard to get to 19 finalists. You guys on March 31st are going to be choosing which of those 19 finalists moves forward as a Battery Powered awardee. And tonight, we're going to hear from five of them. But we have read all of their applications, we know all of their work, and we want to make sure that you know how amazing this 19 organ these 19 organizations are. So I wanted to remind you that you heard from Glenn Close, and you heard from Ellen Sachs. Both of their organizations are running as finalists. You heard from Jim Gordon for the Center for Mind-Body Medicine, and perhaps you were one of the 50 people who came here for a couple hour workshop of belly breathing and laughing that really got you in touch with your, your mental well-being. Um, and tonight, in addition to the five organizations that you're going to hear from, I'd like to acknowledge that there are a number of leaders from our other finalist organizations. So I'm going to say your name, and your, I'm actually going to read your organization name, and then your name, and I'd like you to stand up so that people know who you are and that you can have conversations about the incredible work that you're doing. First, we have Aircraft Casualty Emotional Support Services, Access. Heidi Snow, founder and executive director. And please stay standing so everyone can see where you guys are for future conversations. And then IMRO, Brandon Staglin, director. Foundation Rwanda, Jules Shell, co-founder and executive director. Hi, Jules. Mad Picks Film, The S Word, 
suicide, Hillary Armstrong, producer, and UCSF Young Adult and Family Center, Dr. Kim Norman, founder. So these, org these leaders represent amazing work, so I encourage you to speak with them after the evening and hear what they're up to and what they're all about and read their applications and watch their videos. And I'm gonna welcome them up here at the end of the program. So thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. And I'm very excited to get into our programming. We are going to start globally hearing from the Sesame Street Workshop, and then we're going to go specifically to a global destination far away with strong minds in Uganda. We're going to come back to San Francisco and hear from UCSF, from their psychiatry department, and then we're going to hear from CWAE, and we're closing with Crisis Text Line. So in front of you, you have um, information on all of our presenters as well as all of our finalists. And it is with great pleasure that I'm going to invite Dr. Jeanette Betancourt, Senior Vice President of the U.S. Social Impact of Sesame Workshop, to join me. Okay. Welcome, and I'm gonna get off the stage. <laughs> 